Greetings, my name is Mary Ann Krogh and I serve as the Dean of the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University. On behalf of the students, faculty, and staff of the College of Nursing, I want to welcome you to our pinning and hooding ceremony celebrating our students graduating this semester. While we certainly wish we were gathered together to recognize the hard work and accomplishments of each of these students, we are glad that we are able to come together virtually to celebrate. Founded in 1881 as the state's Morrill Act land-grant institution, South Dakota State University improves the quality of life through exemplary teaching, relevant research, and connected outreach. South Dakota State University is located on the ancestral territory of the Ocheti Shakowin, or Seven Council Fires, an alliance that consisted of the Santee, Yankton, and Teton Lakota. They are commonly known as the Sioux by non-native people. The seven tribes now occupy nine different reservations in South Dakota. The nine reservations are Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe, Crow Creek Sioux Tribe, Flandreau Santee Sioux Tribe, Lower Brule Sioux Tribe, Oglala Sioux Tribe, Rosebud Sioux Tribe, Sisseton Wapaton Ayate, Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, and the Yankton Sioux Tribe. This serves as a reminder that before this site was called SDSU, it was home to Native nations indigenous to this location. Graduates, I want you to think back to the beginning of this semester. You probably were thinking things like, finally, my last semester, I'm on the home stretch, or I can't wait to start my career. None of us imagined that we'd finish these final semesters during a pandemic. I do have to say, though, that I've never had more admiration for a group of students. You all rose to the challenges placed before you with a rapid shift to online learning from home, overcoming the intricacies of virtual clinical simulation, and navigating the myriad of obstacles thrown in your way throughout the past few semesters. Because of all this, I know you will all be great nurses, educators, administrators, and clinicians. All of these roles require response to rapidly changing priorities, resilience, and flexibility, all characteristics you have demonstrated admirably. So today, I congratulate you on your many accomplishments and wish you well as you go into the world as proud SDSU alumni. During our ceremony, we will recognize College of Nursing graduates who will receive one of four types of degrees, the Doctor of Philosophy, the Doctor of Nursing Practice, the Master of Science, and the Bachelor of Science. Our graduate programs were established to allow bachelor's prepared nurses to pursue advanced educational degrees at the master's and doctoral levels. Doctoral and master's graduates receive a hood to acknowledge their degree completion. The PhD program in the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University began in 2005. The PhD degree prepares nurse scientists who generate new knowledge with emphasis in one of three areas, health promotion and disease prevention for rural and underserved populations, nursing education, and health outcomes. The PhD in nursing graduate is prepared to advance nursing science and impact healthcare through roles in research, education, administration, and policy innovation. Dr. Alexandra Cordell. Dr. Cordell received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chair is Dr. Cindy Elverson and her dissertation title is Educational Interventions for Women and Their Support Persons on Breastfeeding Outcomes. Alex would like to thank her family and friends for their support during this PhD journey. And Alex has received the Outstanding Graduate Nursing Student Award for Summer 2020, which was determined by a graduate faculty vote. Congratulations. The Doctor of Nursing Practice, or the DNP, program was initiated in 2009 as the terminal degree for advanced practice nursing. 
The DNP degree equips graduates with the skills and competencies needed for translating evidence into practice innovation, for improving systems of care, and for measuring patient outcomes in the clinic, hospital, and community care settings. DNP graduates are engaged in clinical practice, leadership, healthcare policy advocacy, and scholarship. The Doctorally Prepared Advanced Practice Registered Nurse, or APRN, significantly impacts healthcare outcomes for both urban and rural residents. Our summer 2020 DMP graduates have completed coursework to prepare them in the family nurse practitioner specialty. Dr. Amy Clay. Dr. Clay received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chairs are Dr. Mary Kay Nissen and Dr. Brandy Pravacek. The title of her DMP project is Protocol for Human Trafficking in the Emergency Department. Amy thanks her family, friends, teachers, and especially her husband for the continued prayers and boundless support the last five and a half years. Dr. Ruth Hernandez. Dr. Hernandez received her Bachelor in Nursing from Presentation College. Her committee chair is Dr. Nicole Gibson. Her DMP project title is Ask Me Three, Improving Healthcare Activation After Hospital Discharge. Ruth would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing her degree. Dr. Hannah Johnson. Dr. Johnson received her Bachelor in Nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chair is Dr. Brandy Pravacek, and the title of her DMP project is Implementation of a Depression Screening Protocol in a Rural Family Practice Clinic. Hannah would like to thank her husband, Jeff, daughter, Pedra, parents, families, friends, Nancy Hardenhoff Crooks, and Drs. Pravacek, Dorner, for all their support throughout her doctoral program. SDSU College of Nursing graduates who have completed the requirements for the Master of Science degree have chosen to specialize as a nurse educator, nurse administrator, clinical nurse leader, or family nurse practitioner. These graduates provide leadership in applying advanced knowledge to impact healthcare delivery and improve patient outcomes through their roles in clinical practice, education, and administration. Jessica Went. Jessica received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is nurse administrator and her master's projects titled Nurse Residency Program Implementation at a Critical Access Hospital. And her faculty advisor was Dr. Karen Emery. Congratulations to all of our graduate students for their hard work and accomplishments. As we move into the next portion of our program, we will recognize students who have completed the requirements to earn their bachelor's degree in nursing and have received their nursing pin. The pin is an important symbol to nurses. No two schools have the same pin. Wearing it will distinguish you as graduates of the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University. The nursing pin for SDSU includes the seal of the state of South Dakota. The Bachelor of Science in Nursing was first offered in 1935 as a post-licensure program for graduates of hospital-based diploma programs and over time has evolved to include a number of options for students to earn a Bachelor of Science degree. Students receiving their nursing pins have completed the requirements for a Bachelor of Science degree by completing coursework as part of our online RN to BSN program, the accelerated program option, or our standard option. The RN to BSN program at SDSU, formerly known as RN Upward Mobility, was established in 1977 and in 2001, became the first baccalaureate degree completion program offered at SDSU. The RNs in the program have earned a diploma or an associate's degree in nursing, are licensed practicing RNs who have completed the requirements for the Bachelor of Science with major in nursing. Kathleen Mathis. Kathy would like to thank her family, friends, and coworkers who have shown their support and provided encouragement throughout her nursing education from LPN, 
Associates RN, and BSN. Kathy currently works in the Adult Psychiatric Unit at Avera Behavioral Health in Sioux Falls. Please join me in congratulating our RN to BSN Summer 20 graduate. The Bachelor of Science program was established in 1952. Students in this program have completed an undergraduate degree built on a strong foundation of prerequisite coursework in arts and sciences, followed by five semesters of nursing coursework with hands-on simulation and clinical experiences. Graduates of the accelerated option held a prior bachelor's degree in an area outside of nursing and have completed nursing coursework in 12 months. Mallory Anglin. Mallory would like to thank her husband and her family and friends for their continued support while completing the SDSU nursing program. After graduation, Mallory will be working as a registered nurse at the Women's Center at Avera St. Mary's in Pierre, South Dakota. Jamie Bresnahan. Jamie would like to thank her family, friends, and her fiance for their continued support while completing the accelerated nursing program. Jamie will be employed in the operating room at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Caitlin Brumbaugh. Caitlin would like to thank her parents and Chris for their support. She would also like to thank Lindsay and Aaron for all the nights of procrastination and binging movies. Caitlin is seeking employment in Fargo, North Dakota. Kaylee Burmeister. Kaylee would like to thank her parents, family, and friends for always supporting her throughout this nursing program. It is greatly appreciated, and none of this support goes unnoticed. Kaylee plans to work in a rural hospital near her hometown. Jessa Christensen. Jessa would like to thank her husband, parents, siblings, and grandparents for their unending support and encouragement. She would also like to thank her fellow Accelerated Nursing family and professors. Allison Fink. Allison would like to thank her family and friends for their support they've shown throughout her schooling to get her to this point. Allison will be employed with Sanford Health in the cardiology unit. Kimberly Fraze. Kim would like to thank her family and friends for their support and encouragement while completing the NAC program in Sioux Falls. She will be seeking employment in Palmer, Alaska. Lindsay Gertz. Lindsay would like to thank her family, friends, and fiance Cody for all their support while completing her nursing degree. She could not have made it through without their continuous love and encouragement. Lindsay plans to seek employment on a medical surgical unit in the Twin Cities area following graduation. Maria Glover. Maria would like to thank her family, friends, and instructors for supporting her throughout nursing school and for her continued support as she begins her career as an RN. Maria will be employed at Sanford USD Medical Center in the ER and ICU cross-train unit. Lottie Grimshaw. Lottie would like to thank her grandparents, her parents, her boyfriend, and the rest of her family and friends for their support and encouragement while completing nursing school. Lottie has accepted a position in the emergency room at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Tammy Hall. Tammy would like to thank her family, friends, the NAC cohort, as well as the SDSU instructors and staff for their support during this journey of obtaining her nursing degree. Tammy has accepted a position at Sanford Health in the Medical Oncology Unit. Tammy was named the recipient of the Mary Adams Outstanding Student Nurse Award for the Accelerated Nursing Class in Sioux Falls. Congratulations, Tammy. Mariah Jamison. Mariah would like to thank the biggest inspiration in her life and her best friend, her mother. She is grateful for the support and love. Mariah will be working on the pulmonary unit at Sanford in Sioux Falls. Kelsey Johnson. Kelsey would like to thank her family, Jill Johnson and John Vedrill, for their support. She would like to remember her late father, Chad Johnson. This degree is in honor of him. 
Kelsey will be working in the cardiopulmonary unit at Avera McKinnon Hospital in Sioux Falls. Carly Johnston. Carly would like to thank her family and friends for their support this past year, especially Sam and Carrie Johnston and family, Matt Nelson and Vince and Jerry Nelson. She will be seeking employment in the Sioux Falls area. Lillian Knudsen. Lily would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing this nursing major. Lily will be working in the ICU unit at Avera Queen of Peace Hospital in Mitchell, South Dakota. Rachel Conrad. Rachel would like to thank her family and friends for all their support while completing this nursing program. Erin Krogman. Erin would like to thank her friends and family for the support throughout the year, especially her Aunt Carrie, grandparents, Ben, and her parents. Erin has accepted a position with Sanford in the critical care unit. Catherine LeBron. Katie would like to thank her husband, Joe, as well as her family and friends for their support while completing the accelerated nursing program. Katie will be employed at Sanford Health in the Critical Care Emergency Department. Ashley Liang. Ashley would like to thank her Connecticut and South Dakota friends and family for their continuous support while completing this nursing degree. Ashley will be employed with Sanford USD Medical Center on the Cardiovascular Surgical Unit in Sioux Falls. Seth Lohr. Seth would like to thank Lindsay, Bailey, his family and friends for their support during the past year. Seth will be employed with Sanford USD Medical Center in the intensive care unit in Sioux Falls. Ellen Longton. Ellen would like to thank her family for their continued support, her classmates for making this a year to remember, and finally her husband Jordan for being so supportive and wonderful. Ellen will be employed at Avera Marshall Regional Medical Center on the medical surgical floor. Tara McDowell. Tara would like to thank all the influential people in her life who have inspired her, encouraged her, and supported her in reaching this dream. Kevin Natukanda. Kevin is so grateful to God for strength and good health throughout nursing school. Kevin also extends his gratitude to family, friends, faculty, and everyone who helped along this journey. Margaret O'Brien. Margaret would like to thank her family, her friends, and her classmates for their support throughout the duration of the accelerated nursing program. Margaret will be working in the Pediatric Cardiac Intensive Care Unit at Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Jessica Oye. Jessica would like to thank her husband, daughter, and other family members for their relentless support during her journey back to school. Jessica will be working in the emergency department at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Ashley Patterson. Ashley would like to thank her family for believing in her and giving her the strength to keep going, especially her Nana, who she knows is always watching over her. Samantha Peterson. Samantha would like to thank her family, boyfriend, and friends for their support while completing the nursing major. Jordan Redmond. Jordan would like to thank his mom and dad for all they have done throughout the last year and to all other friends and family for their support. Jordan is currently seeking employment in various locations throughout Wisconsin and South Dakota. Katie Rodig. Katie would like to thank her parents, Todd and Jane Rodig, Tanner Griffith, and all other family and friends for their love and support she received while completing her nursing major. Katie has accepted a position in the Pediatrics Pediatric Intensive Care Unit with Nebraska Medical in Omaha, Nebraska. Katie Rosenstingle. Katie would like to thank her family for their continued support and encouragement 
as well as her nursing classmates, who she couldn't have done this without. Katie is anticipating employment in the Southwest Minnesota area. Morgan Selenbarden. Morgan would like to thank her family, friends, and especially her husband, Kellen, for supporting her through her journey to becoming a nurse. She couldn't have done it without you. Morgan has accepted a job at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls in the intensive care unit. Megan Seavers. Megan would like to thank her family and friends for their unceasing support of her dreams and for their constant encouragement to love others and enjoy life along the way. Megan will be continuing her education at the University of South Dakota Sanford School of Medicine. Jessica Selva. Jess would like to thank her family for sacrificing so she could follow her dreams of becoming a nurse. It has been a long journey full of failures, tears, and loss, but they made it. God has been faithful, and this victory belongs to all of them, and she is proud about that. To her friends, she would like to say thank you for never letting her forget why she did this and that she loves them. Jess will be pursuing a job in pediatrics after graduation. Stephanie Warnke. Stephanie would like to express her appreciation and gratitude for her family, friends, and boyfriend for their incredible support through nursing school. Stephanie will be working at Pioneer Memorial Hospital in Viborg, South Dakota. Anna Zentner. Anna would like to thank her mom, dad, brother, and her fiance and his family for always supporting her. Your love and never-ending support got her through the year. Anna is seeking employment in Oregon City, Oregon area. Sydney Zimmerman. Sydney would like to give a warm and loving thank you to her family and friends who always kept her positive, motivated, and supported while completing the nursing major. Sydney accepted a position on the critical care unit at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. The next group of graduates have completed their coursework as part of the standard option program. These students have completed their nursing coursework over a period of 20 months. Avine Aware. Avine would like to thank her family and friends for being the best support system in dealing with all the stress that has come with completing her nursing degree. Avine will be employed with Avera Health in the Surgical Trauma Unit. Drake Bernison. Drake would like to thank his friends and family who supported him with continuing his education. Drake is seeking employment in Sioux Falls and is hoping to work on the cardiology unit at Sanford. Ekaterina Cherednek. Katerina would like to thank her family and friends for being supportive while completing the program. The memories made in nursing school will forever be kept in her heart. Erica Cockburn. Erica would like to thank her family, friends, and boyfriend Cameron for their support while completing the nursing major. Erica accepted a nursing position on the cardiopulmonary unit at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls. Erin Denning. Erin would like to thank her family and friends for their endless encouragement, hospitality, and unwavering love through this journey and is eager to dive into rural health care. Erin will be working at Avera Queen of Peace in Mitchell in the medical, surgical, and pediatric units. Ivan Diaz. Haley Dorschner. Haley would like to thank her family and friends for their continuous support. She would especially like to thank her fiance for his support and patience through this whole process. Haley has accepted a position at Avera St. Mary's in Pier on the Women's Center Unit. Markel Edlund. Markel would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing the nursing major especially her husband, Josh, for his constant encouragement. Markel will be employed with Avera McKinnon in the short stay unit in Sioux Falls. Marissa Foley. 
Marissa would like to thank her family and friends for their support throughout the nursing major. She would like to especially thank her husband, Ryan, and parents, Patty and Juan. Marissa will be seeking employment in the Sioux Falls area. Alan Garcia de Aba. Alan would like to thank his parents for their guidance and sacrifices throughout these years and his friends, professors, and classmates for making this educational experience unforgettable. Heidi Hammer. Heidi would like to thank her friends and family, especially her husband, Reagan, for the guidance, patience, and support in her success and completion of the nursing program. Heidi is excited to begin her nursing career at Avera McKinnon on the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. Heidi was named the recipient of the Mary Adams Outstanding Student Nurse Award for the Standard Nursing Class in Sioux Falls. Congratulations, Heidi. Britta Harberts. Britta would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing the nursing major. Britta has accepted a position with Sanford Health on the cardiology unit. Elizabeth Hoover. Elizabeth would like to thank her parents, John and Michelle, Susie, sisters Jessica, Christina, and Angela, and her five pets for supporting her through nursing school and her future. She will be employed at either Sanford on 2000 or at Christiana Care in a med surge residency in Newark, Delaware. Angela Jensen. Angela would like to thank her parents, fiance, and her family and friends for their constant support while she worked towards her nursing degree. She could not have done it without you. Angela has accepted a job at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls on the medical surgical unit. Haley Johnson. Haley would like to thank her family and friends for all the love and support. Haley will be working on the renal medical surgical unit at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Rohit Kadaria. Gracie Crawl. Gracie would like to thank her parents, family and friends for all their love and support while completing nursing school. Kylie Luke. Kylie would like to thank her family and friends, especially her four children, for their patience and support while pursuing her dream. She has accepted a position at Sanford on the cardiology unit. Desiree Mercer. Desiree would like to give a big hearty yay to her friends and her family for their encouragement through nursing school. To Detachment 780 in Brookings, she offers one final hoo Desiree will commission as a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, working as a med surge nurse at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas. Brooklyn Miller. Brooklyn would like to thank her family, friends, classmates, and educators for their love and support along this journey. She couldn't have done it without you all. Brooklyn will be seeking employment near her hometown in Slayton, Minnesota. Jacqueline Montreal. Jacqueline would like to thank her family and community for their continued support during this journey. Jacqueline has accepted a position with Avera Behavioral Health on the Adult C Unit in Sioux Falls. Taylor Pennell. Taylor would like to thank her family and her friends that supported her through nursing school. She cannot wait to begin her journey as an RN with Avera McKinnon Hospital in the ICU. Jonathan Peterson. Jonathan would like to thank his friends and family for their support while completing the nursing major. Jonathan will be employed in the cardiology unit at Sanford USD Medical Center. Jacob Poppins. Jacob would like to honor his family and friends for their ongoing support. He would also like to thank his professors for their guidance and educational support. Jacob has accepted a position in the heart and vascular unit with Monument Health in Rapid City. Shonda Rausch. Shonda would like to thank her family and friends for their continued love and support. 
She strives to make each of you proud through her endeavors as a nurse. Shonda has accepted a job in Dawson, Minnesota at Johnson Memorial Hospital as an emergency room and floor nurse. Addison Sanis. Addison would like to thank her family and friends for their uplifting support and encouragement throughout the entire nursing program. She will begin her nursing career on the cardiology unit at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Jaden Sheffers. Jaden would like to thank her mom, dad, brother, and sister who always reminded her she was capable of anything she set her mind to and always had her back. Jaden will be working at the Mayo Clinic in the Pediatrics Unit this fall. Carolyn Schmieg. Carolyn would like to thank her family and friends, and especially her mom, Jennifer, and dad, Greg, for always having confidence in her throughout her whole journey. Carolyn will be working on the inpatient floor and emergency department at Madison Health Services in Madison, Minnesota. Allison Torrance. Allison would like to thank her family and friends for their continued support throughout nursing school. Allison will be working at St. Michael's Hospital, Avera, in Tyndall, South Dakota. Bailey Van Zee. Bailey thanks her family and friends that supported and pushed her to complete the nursing program. She can't wait to work as a nurse in the near future. Go Jax! Bailey will be seeking employment in the Sioux Falls area with an interest in labor and delivery. Hannah Wilson. Hannah would like to thank her parents, sister, and friends for all their support throughout nursing school. This would not have been possible without your love and support. Hannah has accepted a position on the pediatrics unit at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls. Elizabeth Winter. Elizabeth would like to thank her friends and family for their endless love, support, and encouragement during these crazy times. Elizabeth will be starting her job with Sanford on the medical oncology unit in the fall. Courtney Zenz. Courtney would like to thank her friends, family, and boyfriend for their continued support. She would also like to thank her classmates that became friends and her instructors at SDSU. Courtney will be starting her nursing career in Southwest Minnesota. Congratulations to all of our accelerated and standard option graduates. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the achievements of our graduates from the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University.